Assalamu alaikum this is your english textbook for grade 9 i'll start with your first lesson from this book that is hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam now the first page is page 2 it starts with some qualities of our holy prophet he was rahmatul lil alamin loaded with justice humanity patience and he was known as sadiq and amin the beginning of the lesson is from a verse from the holy quran Surah Al-Baqarah O you who have believed seek help through patience and prayer indeed Allah is with the patient The lesson starts by tolerance we mean a fair and objective attitude towards those whose lifestyle differs from ours Tolerance is the virtue which enables a person to forbear the attitude negative remarks and action with patience and calmness The life of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a superb example of tolerance. It is his tolerance that let him forgive his worst enemies. Truly, he is an epitome of tolerance, forgiveness, patience and compassion. The Holy Quran describes him as rahmatul lil alamin, a mercy unto the whole mankind and the universe. While preaching Islam in Makkah, the Quraysh ostracized him and his family Banu Hashim. They lived in a valley called Shebe Abi Talib. There was scarcity of food and water. The believers had no means of income, and they were leading a very tough life for a period of three years. During this situation, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam remained calm and tolerant, and never thought about taking any sort of revenge. Even after he had conquered Makkah, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam taught his followers. to remain tolerant after to remain tolerant after the conquest of mecca the muslim army entered mecca humbly and peacefully no house was robbed no man or woman was insulted hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam granted a general amnesty to the entire population of mecca after conquest of mecca when everybody gathered in khana e kaaba hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the people of quraish what do you expect at my hands they all shouted in one voice kindness and pity gracious brother gracious nephew they were not disappointed hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the same forgiving words as hazrat yusuf alaihi salam had said to his brothers have no fear this day may allah forgive you and he is the most merciful to those who show mercy hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam even forgave abu sufyan and his wife who were the worst enemies of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and islam he plotted many times against the rasul but hazrat muhammad never did so page number 4 now similarly the story of the rabi zaid is one such epitome of learning from muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's practices which reflects tolerance towards others hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was attending funeral of a man from the ansar Hazrat Abu Bakr رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ Hazrat Umar رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ Hazrat Usman رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ and some other companions were with him After the funeral prayer the Rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم sat down close to a wall and a Jewish Rabbi Zaid ibn Sana came towards him He grabbed the Rasul by the edges of his cloak looked at him in a harsh way and said O oh Muhammad will you not pay me back my loan I have not known the family of Abdul Muttalib to delay in repaying debts After seeing what the rabbi did to Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Hazrat Umar's eyes swelled with anger He looked at the rabbi and said O enemy of Allah do you talk to the rasul of Allah and behave towards him in this manner The rabbi turned away and Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Hazrat Umar You should have given us sincere counseling rather than act as you did Go and repay him his loan and give him 20 saa a measurement of weight extra because you scared him Hazrat Umar went to the rabbi repaid him the debt and gave him an extra 20 saa of dates the rabbi asked hazrat umar why and he replied the rasul of allah ordered me to give it to you because i frightened you the fact was that hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not late in repaying the debt the rabbi was asking for the repayment days before the loan was due because he wanted to test hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's tolerance the rabbi zaid found that tolerance and perseverance took precedence over anger and that harsh treatment was repaid with kindness the rabbi zaid immediately renounced his religion that means changed his religion and testified before hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
there is none worthy of worship but Allah alone and that Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his rasul the tolerance of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam knew no bounds he always treated people with kindness and compassion violence anger and rudeness were never part of his personality he showed tolerance in the face of adversity and kindness in the face of harsh treatment now we are done with the lesson i'll read the hard words to you the words and the meanings when you learn new words in a lesson you must go to through the glossary glossary means the collection of new words that have been added to your vocabulary compassion means a strong feeling of sympathy for people who are suffering and a desire to help them debt a sum of money that somebody owes epitome a perfect example of something dreadful a very bad or unpleasant situation or anything that is not nice restraining to sort stop somebody or something from doing something amnesty a period of time during which people can admit to a crime given or give up weapons without being punished counseling professional advice about a problem perseverance the quality of continuing to try to achieve a particular aim despite difficulties debate a formal discussion on an issue at a public meeting precedence the condition of being more important than somebody else and therefore coming or being dealt with first adversity a difficult or unpleasant situation renounced to state publicly that you no longer have a particular belief or that you will no longer behave in a particular way testified to say that you believe something is true because you have ad- evidence of it rabbi a jewish religious scholar ostracized to refuse to let somebody be a member of a social group in fact to bully a person to refuse to meet or talk somebody opponent a person that you are playing or fighting against in a game competition or argument scarcity if there is scarcity of something there is not enough of it and it is difficult to obtain it gracious kind polite generous especially to somebody of a lower social position revenge something that you do in order to make somebody suffer because they have made you suffer